Today is a really special day as part of the Little Bird trip. This is the second part of what the Dreams workshops actually do. So as you can see, I've got Philip with me today, who is going to be twinned with this school. We're spending the whole day here, we're going to be doing a Dreams workshop. Philip's going to get the opportunity to spend time with Alan Frenchman, the principal, and really start to interact and connect and identify how they're going to be working as a twin school. So this is where the global connectivity really begins. The fact that we have now joined up with, with Four and the school in the UK makes this such a blessing, a huge blessing, not just for myself, but, but for the teachers and, and particularly for the children. What did you just say? Let's have a look. It says, dear friend, I believe in you. There's a, a massive mixture of feelings going on. There's a nervousness about it, but there's also a real excitement that actually we can make a difference. This is your book from Alison. So it's a really, really special book all about dreams and believing in yourself. Dear friend, I believe in you. So believe in yourself and make your dreams come true. And that's from Rebecca, who's in my school. And what you're going to do now is you're going to get a little postcard like that and then you're going to write a message underneath and I'm going to take those back to the children in my school. Oh, that's a beautiful message that, Jaden. Um, the children are just writing the messages now um, back to the children at Chandler's. So I'm just going around the class talking to the children. Um, we've been looking at the messages, making sure the children understand what they mean and the children are, are relaying it now with messages and pictures back. We want to teach our kids to dream, not to, not to get caught in the spiral of negativity that exists in their lives and around their lives, but that there is hope and, and that there are dreams to be dreamt and there are goals to, to achieve. And we just want them to dream and to know that those goals can be achieved despite the, the, the obstacles, despite the hurdles, despite the bumps in the road, um, that nothing that they dream about um, and they dream hard enough and they work hard enough that it cannot be achieved. Have you had fun today? And I think it would be really lovely if we heard some children's dreams. Would you like to hear them? Yeah! My name is Matthew. I want to become an inventor and help make the world a better place to live in. My dream is to become a doctor. I want to help sick people. I want to care for them. My name is Amara and I would like to open a design shop in Paris. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh my goodness me. The value um, in the model of the story that Alison has written will remind them that we don't want them to get caught up in the negativity um, that the world throws at them. But they should look at the positive things in their lives. And, 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 and the natural, the things that come naturally to them, the things that they dream about and want to become one day, that it can happen and that it will happen. We wanted to give this to Mr Frenchman and to your school so that you'll always remember us and think about flying around the sun to go and have lunch on the moon. Is that OK? Yeah! <laughs> so there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hug. <laughs>